Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Very popular trading method that we're talking about today. This week's edition of Thursday Flipping, what cards you can look for this Thursday to go up with Weekend League and Division Rivals rewards. So today, in today's video, I wanna talk about the sell time for these uh, rewards with a possible promo coming on Friday. We wanna take the safe route. Like last week we learned, EA could drop an SBC at any time and we could be out of coins because of a cheap pack SBC that we talked about in yesterday's upload as well, making coins from SBCs and packs um, and those market movements. So we wanna take it safe again this week in my opinion. I'll present that option to you guys and the types of cards that we wanna go after this week um, for all, ki all types of budgets. You see I have like 260,000 coins at the moment with some stuff to sell. I'm gonna finish selling that stuff. I'll be close to 500K and then we'll be looking at a lot of different players that you can look to buy into uh, this week because this week uh, is like the first full legit weekend of foot champions and division rivals rewards. We had a um, the second week of foot champions so more people are gonna be playing. The team of the week comes out today before I'm making this video. The team of the week is not out yet. So you guys will be um, having the luxury of looking at the team of the week and possibly being able to make some investments um, according to um, what we could be getting for this team of the week. And it should be a pretty good team of the week because whenever we have international team of the weeks from games where there are international games like the Euro qualifiers that were this week or international friendlies, we usually get pretty good team of the weeks. We don't get dynamic images, which is a bit of a letdown, but we'll have a lot of good red um, cards that people will be getting and some good links to those cards as well. So we'll look at the team of the week prediction today because these Thursday flips are all about meta cards and team of the week links, link investments to those cards that are from the past team of the week that just went out of packs before rewards today or the new team of the week that is in packs today. So I wanna talk a about a lot of that stuff. So the mantra for this week, we, we, we saw it last week. With a lot of the cards that moved last week on the market, um, for rewards. You saw guys like Ben Yetter, who a lot of people had invested in. You saw a lot of cards like this that were just coming back into packs from being out of packs from ones to watch. They went down because they were low rated. And even though they were very meta, they still went down because they got packed so much and so many people already had them in their teams and were using uh, a card from them already. So like Ben Yetter went down last week. Um, some of the other guys that went down, a guy that I had touted highly was Willian. Um, I was buying him at 10K and I thought that he could uh, definitely rise back up. He definitely went down right now. He sees under 8,000 coins for this card. Um, and for a lot of this lower rated stuff, I see a similar movement this week. Probably staying low as we pick up a nice little quick flip snipe there on Willian for 6,500. Go ahead and list that for like uh, just a little bit of profit. That's kind of nice. You take those when you can get them. Quick little flip right there. Um, but you're gonna see a lot of that low rated stuff, I think, again, kind of dip down in price. There's gonna be more and more supply for those low rated cards that are uh, over um, overpriced, honestly, for their rating. Like Edder Militao down here at like 24, 25,000 coins. He's an 81 rated card. He's very meta, very usable. But if you're gonna use Edder Militao on your team, you probably already have him in your team. So there's gonna be less demand for this type of card this week. What people are doing now is people are moving on from a guy like Edder Militao and they're starting to get a guy like a Leng Le, maybe an Umtiti or a Varan. They're starting to move up into the higher tier and higher caliber of foot players. So that's where I wanna focus a lot of our investing this week. And I wanna first take a look at the link investing opportunity um, that we have with this upcoming team of the week. Obviously, you guys will know what the team of the week is. So I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this, but this is a prediction from Patrick Simple Blue 88 on Twitter. We look at his uh, predictions every week. He's really solid um, with the predictions. And this is what he has. Kane, Lewandowski, Wijnaldum, Aldo Weireld, Schmeichel, Benucci, Gundogan, Pjanic, and Depay. Definitely some notables in here that would make it into a lot of teams, especially um, considering this is a pretty solid team. Uh, even a guy like Aldo Weireld, who's an 88 rated, a plus one from his 87, he's a top three or four center back in the Prem. Even though he's a little bit slower, the pace isn't as huge this year on the center backs. The defense is the big stat. He's got 89 defense, which is huge uh, for a card of his type. So 
A guy like Wijnaldum, I think, is a great link investment as well. A lot of people would put that in their teams off the bat. Even a guy like Gundogan, I think a lot of people would use. He fits the meta. Good dribbling, good passing um, as a center mid. Same thing with Pjanic. I mean, the Serie A hype is growing. There's a lot more informs this week. But I think Wijnaldum is more of a guaranteed. Don't know if we get Depay and Wijnaldum. Um, so that's something that is a little bit up in the air. But uh, that's a team of the week prediction that we could have. Um for FIFA this week. And considering some of those cards we have in there, if you want to buy link investments to any of those cards, like a Wijnaldum or um, a Gundogan or Aldo Weireld or maybe a Pjanic, you're going to want to look at link investments that are in different positions. So for a guy like Pjanic, yes, you could buy somebody who's also a center mid in the Serie A that you might link Pjanic with. But you know, you got to think about who's going to be put in that team. With Pjanic, yes, you might be putting him into a Serie A team. He also might be replacing somebody. So maybe you want to link, uh, link and best Pjanic with like Rabio or something. But Rabio, he might be getting replaced by Pjanic in a lot of teams. So the better buy would be linking him to more of a rare position because there's more of a chance for you to make coins if you're linking to a rare position. Alexandro would be a great link investment this weekend to link to a guy like Pjanic um, if you got him in your reds. Alexandro is a great weekend league investment almost every week for Thursday flips. He's the the left back in the Serie A. He's Brazilian, so he's got a lot going for him right there, and he, he always moves on Thursdays. Um, so that's a good shout. Wijnaldum has tons of links. Literally think of like Robertson, Trent Alexander-Arnold, maybe even some guys that are attacking up top. Um, I wouldn't really say Mane or Salah because they're very expensive. And if you're, maybe you use one of those guys with Wijnaldum, but I don't think their price would be affected too much because of that. Um, but then um, some of the other guys in the team, maybe a Gundogan, maybe you see somebody like a Cancelo or a Kyle Walker get a little bit of a boost. Again, I'm looking on the outsides. Maybe a guy like Sané could be a very good link investment this week to a Gundogan for that perfect link at left wing. Um, that would be really good for if you're you're building like some type of hybrid squad with the Germans and you need some perfect links to a Gundogan and a Sané. That would be a perfect link between those two guys. Um, or, you know... Uh, any city player, maybe maybe a Gundogan linking to an Aguero would be possible, or two center backs, maybe a Laporte, um, or something like that could be a good investment uh, for a Gundogan as well. But it's all about how many people pack that card. Like the cards that are 84 in the 83 to 86 or 87 range are the best ones to buy link investments to because they're going to get picked from red picks very often. And that's why this team of the week prediction right here. I didn't mention Lewandowski and Kane as really great link investments. They're not going to get packed as much. You're going to see a lot more people get the Gundogan, the Pjanic, the Wijnaldum, the Depay, um, even the Benucci, and uh, Schmeichel as well. There's not really a lot of links for him. But even a guy like Benucci or Alderweireld, you're going to see a lot more link investments too because they're low rated and they're going to get packed more often. So that's the first place that you can look for investments this week is link investments to the current team of the week in those rare positions. Again, if it's a center mid, look for the left backs, the left wings. Um, if it's a center attacking mid in form, maybe look at the strikers or another center mid or a CDM. If it's a center back in form, maybe look at a goalkeeper, another again, a right back or a left back um, and stuff like that. So that's where I think you can look for some gold investments or maybe even some uh, link investments in the other team of the weeks as well. Mares could be a great team of the week investment to a guy like Gundogan if he gets in 130k on PS4 right now he's up a little bit um, but that's another good shout and basically any of these team of the week cards that you have seen arise in weeks past they're probably going to be rising again this week because people like these cards in Diddy Riz, Rose last week Mares Rose Havertz Rose so if you saw a card that rose from a previous team of the week and it rose last week I think it's going to rise again this week. Inform Trent is a good one. Thiago Silva, if you see him get back down to like 55K, that could be a great card. Um, even James Madison's kind of low. There's a possibility of a, of a Barkley inform. That's a little bit suspect. You have to watch out for that. Uh, but these out of packs team of the week cards are going to be great flips on Thursday. If you see them get to a buyable price, Ariar at 22K is just almost shocking in my opinion. Uh, the, the amount of that he has dropped out of packs from a lot of over investing and just more right backs from the Prem coming into the game. 
Um, but that's going to be a great investment opportunity as well. If you saw a card rise previously from a team of the week, that'll be a great pickup um, for you as well. And then again, if we're talking meta players in this game, yes, I'm going to recommend a guy like Usman Dembele, 84 rated card, but he's one of the most popular players in the game. You have the Delict card that people are loving. You have the Semedo Inform from this week um, that everybody is loving as well. So I'm very high on some of the links to this current team of the week as well. Um, a guy like Umtiti, you know, I, I mentioned him, I think, on my Sunday Night Rewards video, and I think I actually dropped his name on stream. There's a lot of a lot of hype around the Barcelona players uh, because De Young is so good in, in game. You have this new Nelson Semedo card. So if you find a guy like this Umtiti, around 60,000 coins still, he's still kind of low at 60k. And the reason why I like him is he's still a great card, but he's a lot more budget than a guy like Langley or Varan, because both of those guys are around 100,000 coins or above. Um, obviously, Varan is like 200 and something thousand coins. Langley is still down here at like 110, 115K. He's up a bit, but the hype on him is rising. And a cheaper option is Umtiti. And I think a lot of people packed that Nelson Semedo card red this week. So I like Langley and Umtiti for those links right there. Um, and like the Barcelona tr triangles, even Delict this week, I think Delict could be a great investment for um, for weekend league. Not Delict, the other one, De Young. The two Netherlands guys, they keep they mess me up sometimes. Frankie De Young, eighty five thousand coins or so, I think he is right now. A little bit lower than that, um, actually eighty two k. Um, that could be a great link investment. Uh, as well this week. And again, of course, you're looking at meta Premier League cards, guys that rose last week, like Rashford, like Lucas, like Sissoko, even though they are lower rated and, you know, they're guys on this game, they're going to get packed a lot for rewards. So many people buy these cards for their teams every single week that it's still going to be a great investment. Timo Werner rose last week, I think a little bit. Felipe Anderson was another good one. Uh, let me look down the list at some of these other guys. Uh, Vidal could even be a good one. He's going to get packed a decent amount, but he should rise after rewards. But I really like the Rashford, the Sissoko, the Dembele, Lucas Hernandez, and basically all the players that are like 86 rated and above. A lot of these guys that are starting to work their way up the most popular list for games played on the PGP graphs on Footbin, um, just because they're high rated and not as many people have been able to afford them. But now people can afford a guy like Lacazette at 100,000 coins. That's a great investment. I think Griezmann at 300K is a really good investment this week. Fabinho at 70K is solid. Um, a lot of these guys down here that are that are up higher in the ratings. Kyle Walker, 75K. What did he do last week? What did Kyle Walker do last week? Okay, so last week on Monday, he went up to 79K and held his price to the weekend league. You might see this card get back up to like 80, 85K this weekend, depending on SBCs and what EA drops. Um, so the higher rated stuff, I think you're going to start to see continue to climb a little bit higher as people continue to get coins on this game and put it into their teams and put it into cards that they want to play with on FIFA 20. So again, I want to mention the buy time for you guys. If you guys don't really know when the buy time for this stuff is, the buy time for a lot of these cards has been and always will be Wednesday night. Last week, a lot of people bought on Sunday or Monday and they kind of got burned because EA dropped that SBC on Wednesday, the strong start SBC, and that made all the player prices drop to basically what they were um, on Sunday night during during the rewards time. And all those prices dropped so far that you could have just waited until Wednesday and got the same prices. I buy Wednesday night regardless of whether we have an SBC or not because a lot of people at that time are selling off their cards to go pick up more players for um, or to get their coins ready for their weekend league um, squad building. You know, they're getting their coins ready before rewards because they know there's a possibility that they pack something and that they go and build a new team around those newly packed players inside a foot. So that's when I usually like to buy. And then the sell time this week, I want to talk about that as well since we do have the possibility of the scream promotion coming this weekend on friday i want to keep it very very short and sweet like last week last week what we saw was the market was at its highest right before 6 p.m uk when they dropped that sbc i could see ea again dropping an sbc this week causing the market to kind of go into a downturn and crash with some supply 
um, on Thursday evening, 6 p.m. UK, I could see some type of SBC again that they put out that causes the market to crash. So the safe way to flip your Thursday investments every week, no matter what kind of card they are, the only thing that I would say would maybe outlast um, some supply on Thursday would be an out of packs inform. So if you invest in those, you can maybe hold on to those a little bit longer. If you get a guy like Mares or a guy like um, in Diddy. So those kind of cards could outlast a little bit of a panic sell or a pack supply that could possibly come out. Um, the sell time is going to be for most cards before 6 p.m. UK on Thursday. So it's a very short window. You buy the cards Wednesday night at like midnight UK or later. And then rewards come six, seven hours later than that. And then boom, in another six, seven, eight hours, you're going to want to have all your cards shipped out, except for maybe some of these informs that are out of packs, um, just in case EA does drop an SBC. That's the very safe route, especially with the possibility of the screen promo coming Friday and EA dropping a loading screen. The first promo of FIFA 19, or FIFA 20, excuse me, please, thank you, not FIFA 19, FIFA 20. People are going to be panicking. People love to panic in this game. It'll be interesting to see what happens, of course, but I think there could be some panic. So I wanted to kind of let you guys know about that sell time. I'm going to be focusing on selling basically all of my stuff at Thursday, 6 p.m. UK or before, unless I have some informs and I'll be holding on to that. But again, the mantra this week for Thursday flipping is stay away from the low stuff and look towards the higher rated stuff that people are going to be using to upgrade their teams, Fabinho's. Um, Fernandinho's higher rated Premier League players and players that link to the hype guys that are in FIFA at the moment. A guy like Erickson could be a good weekend league flip. And then, of course, you're very, very meta and overpowered players. Um, there's honestly an opportunity to even buy when rewards happen, when rewards are released for champions. You could see some buys possibly on the market for some current Team of the Week players that come out today. Some of those cards get a really low point on rewards mornings and then they rise a couple hours later. And even some of the lower rated cards, like a guy like Martial. Martial. Uh, Anthony Martial, down at like, he's like 50K right now. Last week he dipped a bunch right when rewards came out and he shot up quickly after that. That could be a situation where you get in and buy on a lower rated card that gets packed a lot and make some coins um, because of that dip in price and the rebound after it. But again, sell time this week. Please sell before 6 p.m. Thursday. Be safe, take the safe route. Get your players out in the flips then. You might be losing out on a little bit of profit, but hey, let's say you buy Rashford's at like 72K during or just before rewards, and then boom, after that, he's all of a sudden 80K or 81K right before 6 p.m. UK. Take the safe route, take your coins, uh, and that's the way that I'm thinking this week for some Thursday flipping investments. The safest thing is the informs, but then focus on the links, the meta cards to the new team of the week and to the previous team of the week, especially those Barcelona, some City or Liverpool players. Those are like the hyped up teams right now in FIFA with the very good players. So you just gotta know what the meta is and what players people are using and what where the hype is at, and that'll help you a lot with a Thursday rewards. If you like this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions about Thursday flips. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.